So in Salesforce, we have the issue that we can't mass edit campaign members. Okay, and this uh, often should be done, should be possible. For example, um, if I have here a fundraising event and I would like to see who are my the members of this campaign and I would like to edit um, fields and not just one by one, but actually I would like to select here and say, okay, let me mass update all of those participants of this campaign. So what's possible is obviously here to update the status. You could change here the status, but I would like to do more. I would like to edit all the fields that are available. Okay. So there are uh, a few ideas that are out there, but uh, they're open here, for example, there is a request to create a custom action on the campaign member to really edit the uh, many campaign members uh, with one click. And here also the request would be to uh, provide inline editing uh, to this list. So we could really change here uh, whatever we would like to do. Salesforce um offers one way but it's it's just not easy uh, you could click here on manage campaign members and then you could select the campaign members you update existing ones and then you can upload a csv files and uh, have the salesforce id matched to the existing um to the existing campaign members but again, uh, it's just not in the normal user interface and it's a bit uh, difficult uh, to handle. So let's have a look at the solution that I've built. I will first show you how it looks in the front end and then I walk you through the process in the back end. You can also uh, follow the link uh, just below the video where I've posted a screenshot of each step of the back end. So you can simply copy this and use it for your own scenario. Okay. So just one word about uh, our yeah, scenario. It is uh, a fundraising event scenario. There are 11 participants in this campaign, meaning 11 people are invited to this fundraising event two have not yet responded and nine have responded that they will take really part in it and i would like now to manage this fundraising event within salesforce and as you will see in a second i would like to organize the seating and i would also like to mark which participant would like to order which type of food. So this is typically um, a thing that I can't um, do in the, uh, in the over the regular user interface. So for that reason, I've created here a new tab. Let's open it. So in the upper part, we have uh, some filters that we can use. I've just added the filter on the city field, but you can add whatever you would like to add here. In the middle part, there is the list of the participants. And in this lower part, you can really uh, set the values uh, of the dinner menu and of the table. Okay, so let's um, play around just briefly to see how this works. For example, we see there is a person uh, coming from London and another person from Singapore. Um, let's have them sit at table number one. So you see that this field got updated on those two campaign members. Uh, and then we have people from Miami. Besides Sean, they all sit together at table number two. And whoever is left will sit at table number three. 
okay? Great. And the same thing we can do for um, the food. So we have three people who are vegetarian and <laughs> other people would like to, sorry, to eat uh, fish and whoever is left will eat meat, okay? So this is how to use the update function. And now let's see how we can add the filter functionality so we can check this box here. And now um, no one is um, selected yet, but we can uh, sort here or select here by the city. So everybody from New York is listed here. We can double check does everything, um, is everything correct? Uh, so we can uh, change also within the filter. We can say, hey, they um, changed their mind. They will now all eat meat and sit at table number one. Then this updates as well, okay? So this is the front end. Uh, really useful to really provide the functionality of uh, editing multiple uh, campaign members with uh, one click, something that is not possible uh, through the normal user interface. So let's jump briefly to the back end and see how uh, this is done. So this is the back end that you can build also for yourself. It is a screen flow. We first um, query the campaign to get uh, information on it. Then, and this is the special part, there is this main screen flow. Um, here on the upper part, there is nothing special. All components that you've seen already, a text component, a checkbox and the pick list, that's really nothing special. What's um, special is a newly created or published component called data fetcher where you can select you can select uh, records based on a query that you do um, in uh, from the salesforce database and you can simply um, create a formula field i will also show this to you uh, afterwards um, you create a formula field where you where you write down the entire query and this component will then be used within the table component called data table. It's, um, it's a standard component these days uh, that you can simply uh, use and you can say, hey, uh, here, please uh, display the, the result of this data fetcher as source, okay? So first you create the, the data fetcher and you query whatever is needed and then you have it displayed in this table, okay? And this happens dynamically so that uh, records are updated and queried in real time. And then um, we have two pick list fields this is then used for the last step, okay? And the last step is if you click here um, next, then it uh, loops through the selection of the table. So you have the, da the data table and you get the selected rows, you loop through it. Here I had to, to decide or to add a decision um, what is the update? Is just the dinner or this field to be updated or uh, just the table or actually both? Okay, this is a simple uh, decision to check on those um, pick list components, which ones is null and which, ones it, it, or which one is not null. And based on that, I assign um, the value of the table or of the food or of both to this loop um, uh, record, to this single record within a loop. 
and then I have it added to a collection. So the current item I'm adding to a collection of records that in the end I will update. Okay, so um, this is the back end. One thing that I would like to show you is this formula field here or this formula uh, variable. And this is the, the socle that is used within the, the data fetcher component. And what I'm saying here is um, either I use the filter or not, right? So here I'm using it, so I need to, to, to use uh, other, another socle than if I uh, just would like to see every record. So uh, this is this first um, uh, part of the logic. And then I have here the select uh, statement where I need to query or to, to select all fields that I'm using in the data table. Um, to, to, to have a value there, to, to be able to display it. And um, yeah, and I think that's it. I also use a order by city um, so that all those values or the records are sorted by the city. You can also be here a bit more uh, creative than I am or have it even done uh, dynamically with a sort by uh, component here. Uh, for sure, and um, for now, I'm just interested in the campaign members who have responded uh, to the to the campaign. Also, here, based on your requirements, you can do other things as well. So, um, I really hope that this uh, helps you. First of all, please like this video so other people uh, see this uh, video as well and subscribe to the channel of SF Happyo, where I post uh, videos on how to solve things uh, within uh, Salesforce with a focus on the nonprofit world. And also visit the link that I've posted below where I uh, really have listed, first of all, all screenshots of all those components. You can really uh, copy those for your own needs and I've also pasted uh, or put links to all resources that I've mentioned here. Thank you very much. Now like the video and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.